What's up everybody, it's me again with Not A Slip Joint Video. I just wanted to show you all something I made. Um, I showed some pictures on Instagram about this knife and uh, some people said, make a video, make a video. I was like, okay, I'll make a video. So here it is, here's a video of it. These are uh, the two knives that I've made myself. Um, this one uh, was back when my grinder was a lot better and you can see it's a lot better shape. But this one is a knife that I made for my mom uh, for Christmas, though. I want to give it to her early. Um, that's why I'm making this video, because she does watch these videos. So I'm going to, you know, give it to her early. I still have to sharpen this one, but I just got done polishing it. So um, basically, uh, I've made some knives. I have a really cheap uh, one by 42 grinder that I got off of Craigslist um, and I've purchased stuff from Pops Knife Supply and Texas Knife Supply and um, you know I tried my hand the first knife I made was really kind of janky but um, it kind of evolved into this style and this is I, I've sold them all I'll roll some pictures in here of some knives but um, these uh this this is the one that I kept for myself uh, this one has camel bone. It's, it's natural camel bone, has brass bolsters. Uh, the steel is 01 tool steel, um, 01 tool steel, and it's hardened. I don't know. I just follow the directions. It says you have to soak the steel for like 10 minutes, uh, but I don't have any way to do that. I just use two uh, map torches and some bricks, and I get this thing where it's not magnetic anymore. And I quench it in like canola oil at like 120 degrees or 130 or something. And let me put it this way. This stuff is hard. Oh, after I do that, I temper it for like two hours at 400 degrees. And after I do all of that, you can't drill through this with like a cobalt drill bit. So it's, it's freaking crazy wild hard. So, but this one I made for myself and I've had this for a while. And so... This one has uh, brass liners and everything. They're not slip joints, I know, but but this one here I made for my mom. Now this one, this one has kicked my ass in every way. Uh, as you can probably see, it's a lot rougher. That's because now my grinder is not as good, and uh, I pretty much have. It has a crack. There's a crack here. So basically, the story is my mom wanted a. Uh, I got some rouge still left in here too from polishing it. Uh, basically my mom wanted me to make her a letter opener and uh, I was like okay so I bought all the stuff to do it back when my grinder was okay but then my grinder blew up literally as I was making it so I finished up a blade the best I can and then um, as I was making the liners for this one uh, they cracked right here as I was drilling a hole as you can see and uh, basically I put an end to it there I was like well I'm done so a year later I was like well I'll give it a shot and I soldered these bolsters onto this brass liner uh, using a method that I learned from Tony Bowes um, his website has the instructions I believe on how to do this if not you can find them on YouTube there's a YouTube video I'll try to find it and I'll link it below um, basically you, uh, you can see where my oh, grinder, I need a better grinder. Um, but basically what you do is you sandwich some uh, silver solder between these two, um, between the liner and the bolster here, and you heat it up with a torch until it collapses on itself. Um, the video goes into more detail, but I used his method and it works excellent. My God, is it excellent. So um, there's that. Uh, these, these, scales or handles are um, Karenite. They're like mother of pearl knockoffs. And uh, they're really pretty. The camera doesn't do it justice. In fact, this lighting really makes the polishing marks show up really bad. <laughs> but it doesn't look that bad in real life, except for a couple scratches here, but I can't get them out without... I used to have a belt on my grinder. I don't have one anymore, but it was like a like 2000 grit or something and it would it would polish things up and then you take it to the wheel and then it would just make it mirror really nice but i lost that a long time ago before i even made this one but uh yeah it's not a folding knife but it kind of looks like one that's kind of what i was going at 
I have a, I've tried to put my Tang stamp on there. And then my luck is, like I said, this is the bad luck knife, man. Everything I go to do on this thing fails. And I haven't even sharpened it yet. So this is why I'm making the video because I'm, hopefully when I sharpen it, it doesn't, something bad happens. At least I'll have a video. And then if it goes to complete crap, then um, you'll never know. But yeah, I bought this from Buckeye Engraving and it had my stamp. I uh, bought this like a year or two ago and it's never really been all that great. I never liked it. Um, I don't know if it was the design that I made for it was like not good for what the application I was trying to do or if just the stamp sucks. It was the first one I've ever had. Complete pain in the ass to like use to be honest. So it finally went to crap. It won't even stamp my name into brass anymore, which is soft. Um, so it's garbage. Um, but yeah, it would jump. This was this is me. It jumped and everything. And here I tried to do it this way and then this way. And then I figured like I'll just beat it all up because then I kind of like thought I'll just make it rough. But then I polished it anyway. So I don't know what I'm doing. Plan. My plan is to eventually um get a really decent grinder also you can see my switch here is horrible as as opposed to like this um the uh my the the back the backing where the belt runs on is like canted and it like i didn't notice it until it was too late and i couldn't put a straight line in a you know in the beginning of the uh, bevel i guess it would be so whoops that's like i said another mistake that was made this knife has kicked my ass so i'm going to give it to her tomorrow not even on christmas because it's not really like christmas gift worthy in my opinion because it's like kind of rough you got the cracked scale uh this crap going on the name <laughs> the stamps are so super bad the polish is kind of crappy i try to put a swedge up here um it, it exists but it's like hardly there um but yeah the handles are real pretty Brass liners, cracked handle, this thing. I don't know what, I don't know how that happened. But yeah, on Instagram, I, I showed some pictures. You can actually see through the Karenite and see the, the pen. It's kind of cool. Uh, these these are hammered on. These are. I hammered these on. Everything else is glued because there's no point hammering it on. I figure it'll just be another chance of me cracking this. But like I said, I would like to get a 2 by 72 belt grinder. Um one that's worth a crap and really try to make some decent knives maybe make slip joints someday haven't done it yet but like to those grinders are wickedly expensive they're like basically for a really nice one for like a lower end like on the bottom end of a nice one is like two grand so because you want that variable speed and everything but this this one here is stupid sharp this old one tool steel it takes an edge and it keeps it real slick holds in your hand real well as you can see here i kind of want to make myself like a bushcraft knife like a big heavy one oh one tool steel is good for that i suck at making edges or sharpening knives you can see i think i screwed this one up you can kind of tell there's a lot of error i'm not exactly the best knife maker but from far away they don't look bad so but yeah that's it my mom probably like this. This is obviously being recorded a day ahead because I'm going to give it to her tomorrow. So it'll probably be released either tomorrow or Christmas Eve. Oh, it's almost Christmas time. So everybody have a Merry Christmas. Hope you guys get things you want for Christmas and you get to see family. Hopefully the, the virus that's going around doesn't screw things up uh, for you guys. Like and subscribe and check out my uh, Instagram. I don't post there as much as I used to, but I... Uh, you know, you kind of see what's going on. If I ever do make knives, I kind of post the, uh, as I'm making them. So, oh, another thing I wanted to add is this, uh, this blade, this blade, this, the shape here, I copied off of a GEC oil field jack. I believe is what it's called. The oil field jack. I traced the oil field tra uh, oil field jack to get the handle shape, the blade shape. I traced off of a, um, shot in Morgan baby sunfish and then kind of lengthened it so uh you got a little bit of queen and GEC here mixed together uh so it's kind of unique that's what I did there um but yeah I'm going to go sharpen this thing now and I hope you guys have a good Christmas and um that's about it hey real update just sharpened it
took an itch just fine. So it's good and sharp and ready to go. I didn't ruin it. It's a Christmas miracle.